This is the example on slide 72 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. Um, before we get into identifying A through F as acidic, basic, or neutral, I want to make sure we understand the concept of pH. So pH is a scale from 0 to 14. Anything that is below 7, pH below 7, is considered an acidic solution which also corresponds to having a hydronium or H plus concentration greater than one times 10 to the negative seven molar. Anything that is basic is above seven from even 7.01 to um, pH of 14. So that corresponds to having a hydronium concentration less than one times 10 to the negative seven molar. And anything that's neutral has a pH of exactly seven, which corresponds to having a hydronium concentration of one times 10 to the negative seven molar. So using this information, using this knowledge, now we're gonna move on to the slide 72 example, which has a, B, C, D, E, and F, and it wants us to identify each as either acidic, basic, or neutral. So for A, HCl, which is an acid, has a very low pH, less than 7. That one's pretty obvious. This is going to be acidic. For B, we're not given pH, we're given the um, hydronium ion concentration, 1 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. And so if we go back to our slide and consult it, that is not greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7. It's less than, so therefore this solution is basic. For C, a soft drink, that's another one that's pH. It's less than 7. That's easy to identify. This would be acidic. Um, for D, having a pH of exactly 7, if we go back to our slide, anything that has exactly 7 pH is considered neutral, so D is neutral. And then E is where it gets a little tricky. We're not given a hydronium concentration or a pH, we're given hydroxide concentration. So what we're going to have to do, if we go down here to the bottom of the slide, is use our Kw equals um, hydronium concentration times hydroxide concentration to actually solve for our hydronium concentration, which we can then identify as acidic, basic, or neutral. So remember, Kw is always equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And if we rearrange this equation to solve for H3O+, plus, it becomes Kw over hydroxide concentration. So therefore, if I'm writing in my numbers, it would be 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over 3 times 10 to the negative 10. If you plug that into your calculator, you get 3.33 times 10 to the negative 5 which happens to be greater than, if we go back, 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Therefore, this um, E is also acidic. And then finally, our last one, we're given hydronium concentration again, so we can compare that. It is not greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, but it's less than, so that means this solution is basic. And there you have it.